Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to just take a real quick look at one way to get rid of VBA project protections using Evil Clippy. So on occasion, you'll run across malicious office documents or maybe legitimate documents, I guess, depending on your scenario, but oftentimes malicious documents that if we want to debug them or otherwise open them up using the Visual Basic developer tools that come with the Office IDE, and here, here you can see I have Office 2010, um, what can happen then is once we get into the project view, if we try to expand the project, uh, we'll get this dialog that says that the project is locked and the project is unviewable. Uh, now, we can still use tools like OLE dump and extract the macro. So it's not preventing us from seeing the logic, but we can't open them up here in this project view to probably most importantly set breakpoints and use the debugger to step through the actual code. So what we can use then, or what we can do, is remove the project protections. And one way to do that is to use Evil Clippy. You can see on the GitHub here, github.com out flank nl slash evil clippy. And I'll let you read about the project uh, if you would like to at your own leisure. But the most important thing is that you'll download this um, a series of uh, one DLL and a, and a couple of .cs files. So you're going to get the actual C sharp. So you have to build it in order to get you know the, the evil clippy executable. So there's some compilation instructions down here. Uh, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the Windows instructions. And then I've already got open a developer command prompt. So this required me to install the, uh, the community, at least the community edition of Visual Studio. So if you don't have um, that, that installed, uh, you're not going to be able to get the developer command prompt. And what the developer command prompt will do is it will add to the environment the path to the C Sharp compiler, or CSC. Okay, so now we can right-click, edit, and paste. There's the command that we pulled straight from the documentation. We should not see any errors, so, so fingers crossed. And now once that is done, we should have evilclippy.exe. So now if we run the program without any arguments, we'll get help information. And for this particular exercise here, what we're really after is the dash dash UU or dash dash viewable VBA. As you can see, this argument makes the VBA project viewable or unlocked. And, and of course, if you read the argument right above that, you can actually take it the opposite way. So it has, uh, Evil Clippy has many uses. Um, all that's left is to then run the executable with our argument dash dash UU and our doc. So we'll provide a path to the Excel doc and we should get output there saying making the project is vis visible. Um, it doesn't look like we got any errors. And if we look at the directory below, um, it's going to put the, the results in, this, in the directory from where the input file was. So that, that was on my desktop. Um, you'll see that we have our original doc as well as a new version that has got a suffix of underscore evil clippy. And that's the one that we're after. So now we can go ahead, we can open that one up, go to our developer tab, go to the Visual Basic project, and you'll see there is the project already expanded for us with all of those glorious macros in there, ready for us to analyze, uh, to set breakpoints on, and to begin using deb the debugger. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video using uh, Evil Clippy to remove the project uh, protections in a VBA project.